2025 is the year of AI agents. Agents that power automation, decision making and execute complex workflows like never before. But with the existing libraries, monitoring and tracing multi-agent interactions is a very big challenge. Logs are extremely messy, debugging is even more painful and scaling the application is inefficient. What if you could seamlessly visualize agent workflows, track performance in real time and optimize your AI agentic system effortlessly? Well, here is where LangDB, the ultimate solution for deploying, monitoring and scaling AI agents with advanced tracing capabilities come into picture. All the agents that I'll show you have been created by this amazing library called as Crew AI. To give you context, I want to create an AI agent that writes an entire article for me. I'll break down the steps in terms of how I wish to achieve it, but this is what the objective is. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Let's now start the video by installing the Crew AI library. So using a pip install Crew AI, the installation will start. And once the installation ends, I also want to filter out any warnings that appear. So I've kind of executed the cell already. But once the execution of the previous cell completes is when this cell will kind of complete execution. The installation is up and running. And the filter warning cell has also been executed. So let's go forward to import the other dependencies that we require. So here I'll require the agent function, the task, crew, process LLM function from crew AI. So that is what I'll import. Then I'll also require a base tool from crew AI dot tools, which is what I'll import. I require the field function from Pydentic, which is what I'll import as well. And from UUID, I want to generate unique IDs, which is where I'll import UUID 4 from UUID. This is all that I require in terms of imports. So I'll quickly run this cell as well. Now the next step is to create an LLM function or a wrapper. This gives you the flexibility of using different LLMs for different tasks. The good part about what I'll show you right now is using LangDB you can trace every aspect of the overall execution that happens between agents without maintaining the suspense for a long time. Let me quickly unhide the cell. So here is the function that I have which is create underscore LLM that takes in the model name an API base variable which is currently fixed. So I'm using the LangDB's API URL. Then I have project ID, thread ID, run ID and label. These are passed as input headers. I'll kind of show you how this is done. And the output is an LLM instance of the class crew AI. Okay. Now here is where I've passed the LangDB API key. In order for you to fetch your LangDB API key, you just have to sign up. So I would request you to create an account on app.langdb.ai, the URL of which is already added in the description section of the video. And in order to get the API, I'll add the link to the previous video, wherein I've explained the step-by-step -step process of creating a project, creating an API key. Now, here is where I've created some default headers. So if there is no project ID that is given if there's no thread ID, if there's no run ID label, etc., then by default, this is what will be passed when I kind of create a request. If a thread ID is available, then I append that into the default headers. Same holds true for project ID, the run ID and the label. Now labels are very significant because if you want to kind of categorize which LLM was used or if you want to give tags to different runs, then labels come into picture. And here I kind of define the environment variables as well. I have the OpenAI API base and OpenAI API key and input underscore API underscore key variable, which is something that resides here. Okay. And I finally return the LLM that I've kind of created. So it's basically an instance of the LLM from crew AI. So I quickly run the cell. Now that the cell has executed, here is where we'll start creating agents now. What I'll do right now is I'll start creating agents for individual task. All the agents will execute sequentially one after the other and you will truly be mesmerized looking at the solution. So here in crew AI, you basically have a role that the agent kind of plays. Then the goal, what is the agent's objective? 
and the backstory is basically providing the agent some amount of context to what it wants to accomplish based on the context that it has and accordingly it will kind of adjust its solution as well, right? So I'll quickly unhide the cell. The first thing that I'll do is I'll create a unique thread ID. This will help me track multiple LLM calls that happen in the LangDB interface. We'll come to that once the entire execution happens. Next up, we have run ID. I'll create a unique run ID as well. Project ID is something that you will get as soon as you create a project in LangDB. So that is what I've already created. So the first large language model that I'm creating is a planner underscore LLM. What is planner underscore LLM? Well, in order to create the entire article. Firstly, I'll have to plan out what I want to publish, which is where this particular LLM comes into picture. So I have a function called as create underscore LLM. I pass in the LLM, then I pass in project ID, thread ID, run ID, and then I also give it a label. The label in this case is a planner agent. So I quickly run this cell to create a planner underscore LLM variable. I do the same activity with writer. So whatever planning has happened, now I have all the thoughts from the LLM. Now I want to create a write-up for this, which is where my writer LLM comes into picture. And finally, whatever is written, I want to kind of fine tune it. I want to brush up the final version before I create the final draft of the article that I want to publish, right? Which is where the editor LLM comes into picture. Now next up, what I have is I've defined the LLMs for different actions. Now I define the agents. The agent function takes in the input LLM and returns the agent. But it doesn't only require the LLM. I also give it a role, which I've already discussed. I also give it a goal and I also give it a backstory. So I'll quickly run this function and I'll create my first planner agent. I do the same by creating a writer agent now. Here is where I create a writer agent now. Now that everything is set up, I also require a final editor agent, which is what I do using this function. And now when I execute this, the editor agent is up and running as well. Now my agents are ready. I have to now define tasks. Task, think of task as what will the agent achieve, right? So they provide all the necessary details for execution, such as what is the description, the expected output and what is and which agent is responsible for a particular task. So now firstly, I'll create a planned task where the agent is the planner agent. What do I expect this particular task to do? What is the expected output? So this is my planning task. Similarly, I have my writing task, which is where my writer agent comes into picture. So I run this cell as well. Finally, I have my edit task where I provide a description, expected output and the editor as well. So I quickly run this cell. Now, once you have the agents and tasks created, you create something called as crew in case of crew AI. So now here is where I've created a crew where I've defined the task. I've mentioned the agents, verbose is set to true and I want all of these tasks to happen sequentially. Okay. So I quickly run this cell and now you will see magic happening, right? I'll quickly unhide the cell. I want to create an article or a blog post on a very famous topic that is asked in a lot of interview questions. And even you should know why this actually is important. That is KV caching in case of a transformer network. Okay. So this is the topic on which I want to create an article. So I quickly run the cell. And here is where the first agent has started executing. So all the execution has happened. And here is the entire blog that you can easily refer for a topic like KV caching. So this is what I wanted to show you, but the story is not yet over. The objective of this video is to show you how you can trace every action that has happened in this entire agentic world, right? So I'll go to the LangDB's tracing site and I'll show you everything that is required for you to understand how this entire execution has happened. So let's switch over to the next screen. 
here is the dashboard so all the execution that happened currently i know the cost i know the average latency the number of requests so there were three agents that were kind of creating the solution for me so there were three requests that were made what was the time to first token tokens per second and time per output token so everything that you want to track is available here now if you remember we had created a unique thread id a run id all the information that you require for the agentic workflow is available here what was the prompt that was created by crew ai's agentic framework everything is available here now if you look at the right hand side here you can find something called as traces i click on it once and here i see traces which takes around 142.75 seconds around 2 minutes right now if i only keep the traces section i click on this particular run id input etc and what i get here is the entire flow of how this execution has happened so for the run there is a planner agent there is a writer agent and there is an editor agent so the first call took 38.22 seconds using gpt4 o1 preview and this is how the execution happened this entire execution was started by the planner agent you can go deep and understand what the inputs were what was the output what was the prompt token detail what are the completion token details etc so everything is available here then i have the writer agent so the writer agent took 46.70 seconds and the other details are available here and finally i have the editor details which kind of took the maximum time because it had to kind of process all the information from the planner agent to the writer agent and then finally create the final draft of the article or the blog post right so which is where it took around 54 seconds so at any point of time if your agents are not behaving the way they should then this is something that is a game changer in tracing where your agentic workflow is going wrong and this is not only for your demo right if you've deployed an agentic application in production and if for some weird reason things are not going the way it should this is a very good way to understand which agent is failing what is the input it is receiving and what is the output that it is receiving so doing a root cause analysis for your agentic workflow becomes extremely simple when you start using traces from langdb also if you prefer to collect your tracing data locally langdb is entirely built in rust and you can use the open source version of langdb you can find the repository link in the video description so this is something that i wanted to highlight today i wanted to show you the power of how you can trace an entire agentic workflow using the amazing solution that langdb has built thank you so much for watching the video Thank you.